Hey folks, quick words on ISON. We'll first come to the JPL orbital diagram, updated just this morning. I'll tilt to give the visual reminder that the comet is projected to come up and away, well north of our planet. Of course, anything can happen at perihelion, and we will be watching. FYI, it's not until Earth gets here in our January position that we could see any possible little debris from ISON. It's where the incoming trajectory is close to Earth's eventual path. Half a million people saw the video a few months ago claiming ISON debris was already hitting Earth when it was about here. Complete nonsense. I actually sent that guy a list of annual meteor showers and he blocked me. So, oh well. Slowing down to get a good look at the close approach to Earth. Appears to be December 27th, still very far away. If it survives, it will be a good show for telescopes. And then, mid-January, we get to the potential debris and trailing ions. FYI, while you look at a fun planetary alignment to start the new year, all it took was one speculation of a comet breakup and the same people who photoshopped Bruce Gary's work and the like began saying all sorts of things. Bruce says he sees no evidence of a breakup and this is confirmed on spaceweather.com by Tony Phillips. And it's not just Stereo A. Stereo B Core 2 got into the mix today. That's ice on bottom left and Jupiter in the background above it. They've put it back on the endless spiral, albeit somewhat an aesthetic change only. You will notice a CME on here as well. It will either miss Earth or be a minor glancing blow. Evening news and notes will post to the website in a bit. Be safe, everyone.